Here's the thing. I hate, loathe, despise winter, but I love coats. Now, I don't expect you to understand that, and I don't expect that that makes sense, but it's just the way it is. And I think it's because I really don't like being cold. I don't like, you know, inclement weather and slipperiness. Hello, that's how I broke my knee, and I'm severely traumatized. Um, but I just don't like it. I'm very much a sun and palm trees kind of girl. And so I think because I love coats, it helps me to get through the winter and not feel all like sad and depressed and just this coat that's just consuming my soul. So what I do to combat that is I usually collect coats that make me happy and give me some sort of warm fuzzy feeling. Not the literal one, but you know, the esoteric I feel so wonderful kind. And then I wear them and it makes me happy when I'm cold. It's actually snowing right now in New York City. It's uh, Saturday, so you'll be seeing this video tomorrow, Sunday. It's snowing, it's sticking, I'm really sad about it. It is pretty, no doubt, it's pretty, but you know, once you have to go out in it and navigate staying, you know, vertical and not being on your ass, uh, it becomes kind of a different thing. So I was looking out of the window, feeling kind of bummed out, and I was like, one, I need to make a video to hell let's talk about coats because you know tis the season and such right let's go grab some coats okay first things first i'm wearing this green plain crew neck sweater which i will show you momentarily and a pair of jeans um it is the laziest possible way to get dressed you know throw on a sweater throw on a pair of jeans depending on what they look like will you know rank you on the style scale. This one is super simple because I do wanna just throw on a bunch of coats and show you how much they can pump up the most basic of outfits and make you feel amazing. So let's get to, I would say probably the most challenging coat for some people. It is a cream colored coat. A lot of people are afraid of light colors. I say go for it. There are dry cleaners, you know, should you eat a hot chocolate fudge sundae in your coat if you are a Calamity Jane, I would say no. But you pop it on, you stand up straight, you don't lay on the ground, and you don't play with a toddler wearing your coat. And you will survive. Alrighty, here it is, coat number one. I am going to back up as far as this camera will let me. Hopefully we'll get into a full body zone. Um, but. First, let me tell you about this coat. What I love about it is the texture. If you can see, it is, uh, it's like a wool, but kind of like a boiled wool. And I think the color is really great. It looks good on my skin tone, especially now that I'm so tan, you guys. I am tan! Ah, quick interjection. When you have the plague and you're on holiday and everyone else is having the best time ever, your family is wicked drunk having the the fun of their lives and you have a fever, you don't think that you too could possibly be tan because you've been laying down, you've been inside, etc. But I got a glow and I'm really happy about it. Back to the coat. Uh, so yeah, this one, I think it's just really, really chic and easy to wear. And look, it looks so good with this green and you know, you can just make it work. You know, the green sweater, the light blue denim with the coat cool pair of boots, I got some hoop earrings on, I made very little effort, and I think it's a total win. And for the ladies who wear makeup, here's a pro tip. When I'm wearing this coat, if I have on makeup, I will always put a scarf on, so that my scarf would be the thing potentially bumping into the coat rather than the actual coat, because you're not gonna really be looking that slick if you have on this coat with a giant makeup schmear going up the collar. So that's what I do to protect my neck. Blue fur. Are you dying? Are you dying? This coat is so cute. I love this coat so much. It is so comfortable and it's just your typical winter, I don't even know what you call this. It's um, it's kind of like a lined anorak, so to speak, or, you know, it's not as long, it's not quite as long, it comes to the waist. But I'll show you what I love about this coat. 
now. So obviously some of the coat's best features are the fact that it has a hood, it has a blue fur lined hood, it zips up so seamlessly, and I love the little drawstring at the waist. I'm not really a huge waist cincher as a rule, but when it comes to a puffy coat, can hurt, you know, can hurt. Not a bad thing. Alrighty guys, keeping it moving. I am 1000% not against the black coat. I do like coats that have interesting details though. So when I found this one, I was pumped. Um, here's why. Cause it's black, right? Inside the lapel is this uh, camel color. The back of the collar has this kick-ass red stripe. And it's just a cool coat. You know, you can go super minimal and have, you know, the lapels turned down and not really pop the colors through. But the more you kind of move around, you end up seeing things. If you keep the collar up, you can have a look something like this. So this is your standard three-quarter kind of car coat. It's wool, so it is warm. It's lined, of course. Uh, this for me is kind of an early winter coat. Um, I can wear it throughout the entire winter season in New York City as long as you know you layer properly of course but this one's also great because it's a little easier to pack if I wanted to have another coat option in another city that isn't absolutely freezing and disgusting. <laughs> so this is more of my casual coat. It is in the style of a um, quilted bomber. So you have your kind of bomber sleeves. It's really oversized, big, huge coat. Oh, that hair is moving in the wind. So yeah, it's more of a casual coat, but here's what's super cool about it. I am obsessed with this coat. It is a little bit thin. So what I've been doing is kind of like coat under a coat because two coats are better than one. So sometimes I will layer my moto jacket underneath, uh, which is actually really warm because it is uh, real leather. And, uh, or I will, you know, layer a really big sweater. Um, there's plenty of space. So the options are endless. I know every coat cannot be my favorite. However, this one too is my favorite. <laughs> this is a white creamish, well, yeah, let's just call it cream. This is a cream, uh, they call these kind of like a teddy bear coat. Hopefully you can see the texture. Um, it is very much like a fuzzy teddy bear. It is such a kick-ass coat. I feel like such a rock star. Every time I wear it, I wear it with everything t-shirts, jeans, dresses, fancy clothes, casual clothes, which I often mash together quite aggressively. Uh, that's sort of my thing right now. Ooh, you guys, the snow trucks are here. Hopefully they are gonna clean up these streets because they look crazy right now. Uh, so yeah, this coat is bomb.com. I love it so much. And of course, I will be linking everything that is linkable below and if it's not available still i will get you as close of an option as humanly possible so check the caption slash description box and uh you know if you want to get information on anything or want suggestions i will hook you up i don't think that me saying that you need like like water you need a leopard coat right that surprises no one we're all comfortable with me saying that. Okay, good. You need a leopard coat. You need a leopard coat. Um, I don't even think I really need to explain why. It's like I'm wearing a leopard coat. It's clear that everyone needs a leopard coat. You know, man, woman, child. So just pe just check out the coat. It's also extremely soft. It feels like rainbows, unicorn tears, angel wings, children laughing, all things happy. Also like these coats, remember I talked about the episode of Facts of Life where Tootie ran away and was like being courted by pimps in a diner? That actually happened. Do a story time. On my birthday, December 19th, the year of our Lord, 2016, um, in a diner with my friends, Ian, and we saw a pimp like recruiting girls. But anyway, these coats remind me of pimps. <laughs> Sorry. 
This one's an oldie but a goodie. It's kind of one of my first brushed fur coats that I got when they first started doing them. And plus, uh, in the time that was actually super on trend, it remains a trend, but right at the beginning, I was ecstatic. I was like, oh my God, runway trends. Like really, not a year late, yes. So I got this and it's in this like fun teal color. Not necessarily a color I normally gravitate toward, but I think in a coat it makes it super cool because it's edgy, it looks great with my leopard booties, leopard again. Uh, pairs well with a lot of colors, so yeah, I love it. Okay, you guys, this is the coat that all Northeastern United States humans need. We all have a love-hate affair with it. It is the puffy coat. They are actually really on trend right now, um, but New Yorkers always go for a black puffy coat. We look like a sea of black puffy coat penguins. I don't know. We're like a little black puffy coat army in New York once it's cold because puffy coats do things that other coats just can't do. They repel and reflect vile snow and rain. They are usually have some technology in them that help repel the wind. So the wind is not cutting through your coat and thus your skin, flesh, and bones like an animal, you know? You, you have to, you just, you gotta have one, you know? We can have Parkers, Parkas, excuse me. That's what the coat with the hood is called, I couldn't remember. Blue fur, Parka. Not interact, parka. Anyway, um, here's my black puffy coat. If I would be remiss to not show you my black puffy coat. I can't pretend I don't have one, right? It's not what we can do. We're in an honest, loving relationship and you need to know that I have a black puffy coat. I just do. I'm gonna put it on for you guys. Right in front of your beautiful eyes. Look how big this coat is. This to me, woo, it's a sleeping bag. It is a sleeping bag. Once I'm like in it and tucked in, I can barely move. But I'll tell you one thing. I wore it on what felt like the coldest day of the year. Last year we had a freezing cold day and I was warm. All but my legs, which, you know, cause I don't layer properly on the bottom. Uh, but I was warm and thus this is the coat for me. You could legit take a body beating in this coat because it's so thick, you can barely feel the jabs. Um, this coat is pretty rad because it is oversized, it's super, super comfortable, and I love the hem. There's a dip hem in the back, which I think adds a lot of interest and makes it just a little bit better than your boring standard puffy coat shape.